Hey, Six Week Challengers. Today, I want to speak to you about expectations. So often, I talk to people on a weekly basis, and they tell me about their goals, and you know, they tell me where they are in the challenge, and you know, I'll say, well, how much weight have you lost? Because most of the people that come through this plan are usually looking to lose weight. And so I'll ask, how much weight have you lost? And one of the things I often hear from people is, well, I'm on week three and I've lost 12 pounds. And I'm like, that's awesome. How do you feel? And they're like, well, I guess it's okay. I guess it could be better. And I'm just like, I'm blown away. I'm like, it's been three weeks. You've lost 12 pounds. Most likely you're, you're, you're decreasing body fat percentages as well. And you're telling me it's okay. And I think the reason people do that is because we give you this 25 pound goal if you're in that six week challenge and you feel like that's such a mountain. And so you probably feel like you have to lose like six, seven, eight pounds consistently throughout the entire challenge. And that is far from the truth. The truth of the matter is that your first two weeks is when you're going to see the biggest jumps. That's when you're going to see the biggest weight loss. And then things stabilize into that two to four pound range, which by the way is healthy weight loss. So that's what we want to see consistently after those first two weeks when you see those big, big jumps. Now, are you going to see jumps from time to time where you, instead of losing two or four pounds, you may lose six pounds? Sure. We see that happen all the time. That being said, that is not the norm. We want you to stay in that two to four pound range because that is healthy weight loss. Now, if you were on 600 calories and you were taking medications like some people have in weight loss programs, then sure, you can see these big jumps. But the problem with that is that when you come off medication and you come off of all that craziness, that weight comes back with a vengeance. What we're teaching you to do is basically to sustain your results so that when you come off this plan, you continue to lose weight if that's your goal uh, and decrease body fat percentages, or we put you on a maintenance plan so that you can maintain that and we teach you how to practice an 80-20 which basically says that 80% of the time you stick to the plan, 20% of the time you get to goof off a little bit. And it is super realistic to live that way. You have cheap meals. Uh, you may have a cheap meal on Sunday and then you may possibly get to the point after phase two and three where you can do ch two cheap meals a week and they won't affect you at all. Your body will get so uh, well acquainted with uh, dealing with glycogen, getting rid of all the garbage that it's not gonna impact you anymore like it does now. Uh, if you're the typical normal person, you go out, you eat something that's that you're not supposed to eat, you jump on that scale and you're like, oh my God, I just gained five, six pounds. That's simply because your body is already saturated. But when you empty your bucket, hence the reason this plan is called the empty your bucket plan, and you practice that 80-20, you're going to be able to live sustainably. You're going to be able to uh, stick to this and it's going to be super realistic. So expectations. I want you to lose two to four pounds a week. No more than that. Anything more than that, um, you know, once again, you may jump to six or seven occasionally, but two to four is where we want to see you. So if you're there, awesome. If you're not, I want you to reach out to me. I promise you that these people back here reach out to me all the time. And that's why they're back there on that board. We want to see you on that board. So reach out. We want to help you hit your goals and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.